Uh, up and covers, right? These were, were the guys we may be talking about in the Dominator series in a few years. These are the guys looking for box shots and others for catch the rock. Yeah, I was just going to mention that I'm looking after the rock. Yeah, here's the box loaf. Special interest there. Again, a little bit self serving, but uh, I'm going to root for him. Uh, we'll yeah. have the 114s with. A buddy. A buddy with him. <laughs> Jack Angle got the whole shot. He's up in front, followed by Robertson, Gabo, and Curry as he took uh, the first turn. Pretty neat how like, the track is really starting to develop now. If these guys go around the hole, they're getting deeper. The bases are getting deeper on them, and they get the, the lip on top. And some of the guys doubling the finish line jump here. Some rolling it. The winds are coming deep. And Gove, uh, sponsored by Fort Fremont Marines, CNA Pro, Fly Racing, Stud Boy, Rock Speed FX, Art Cuba. Peterson just got him, so let's see if he can move through the back. I saw he's had a terrible start there. He's back. All that first lap was really good. Come on, Danny. Fox Lake Zinger. Oh, it's going on there. Okay, yeah. We got two bikes together. Okay. Go back down there. So Gavel still his second springer in the third spot. Party. More. And Peterson goes up another spot. So he's up to six. I do encourage any of you who might be watching it on the World Wide Web if you'd like to see this or let us know if your thoughts. Let us know you're out there. We'll try and pass them on to our audience. All you good to do is we'll let you know how to show up. We're doing a little of that internationally, which is, I don't get to say hi to girls and speak to you all. We got some nice messages from them now. Hey, baby. They're very interested in what we're doing. They look good. A big race going on in the week after the late week race. We're going to hear all the show about them talking about it with Molly. I heard they beat us up, and like, whoa! I think we did a late sled, bro. Yeah, probably the other ride. Yeah, Josh McIntyre told me he went down, and we have another collateral. Yeah, he was tipped over. He's up there. He's trying to avoid it. He's kind of tipped over. So there's a mess here at the finish line. The flaggers are out. Looks like uh, I think they're all up. I don't know. The original ride went down the 808. Josh Tony. Picking himself up. We're really uh, thankful for the, the track workers that are out there because uh, safety is paramount in a race in here. We know it can get dangerous, but uh, them being right on the spot there and making sure nobody else tries to double over there and make the situation worse. Those guys are out there too, and they're right, right in the middle of harm's yeah. way, whatever you want to call it, but they're out there waving their flags. You know, that track isn't coming up to the tabletop. Um, but they're out there waiting to set a healthy driver and, and avoid anything that could be you know, less than pleasurable out there. It's tough enough when you tip the set, but you certainly want to stay away from any, anything kind of serious and maybe just a bruise or a bump. There's a finish line, and Jake Hanko is the winner, followed by Ryan Springer, Rob Gabbard is third, Lettuce, Lettuce, Skidoo, one, two, three. And this one, Travis Moore, Brett Cardi.